common table really grew up. There's a lot of different threads that came together, but it grows out of this reality in 2017, 2018, that we were, as a people, more toxically divided than we had ever been. And as people of faith and people of goodwill, we felt deeply called to address this uh, dehumanization of one another. So we started thinking about how to create uh, friendships between faith leaders in the public square. Who committed to come together based upon friendship, based upon learning to trust one another, based upon learning to dig deep within our own hearts. Friendship is a spiritual act. You let your guards down when you're friends with them. When you're friends with somebody, you, you can um, say something to someone that you wouldn't normally be able to say to someone. It seems like it has been uh, a priority to defend a religious identity. But the problem with religious identity sometimes exclude the other identities. But when we talk about friendship, Friendship is a, a better horizon. That's the table we wanted to create. One fear um, amidst all of the eagerness was that people felt burned by interfaith gatherings like this in the past, that attempts to create a false unity were just that. I've been hurt in the past. So my mindset was like, okay, I'm not here to be preached at. I'm not here to um, believe anybody else's faith. Um, you know, that's gonna be them. We want you to bring who you are as a human, who you are as a spiritual leader, and all the unique edges of your tradition, and that real friendship demanded this. Our society in these times need that, need reconciliation, and need the experience of learning together reconciling together, exploring together wisdom. That's really what we are um, wanting to do, is heal the brokenness that exists between us. We don't want a table in which we bring our CV from our faith traditions. We want a table in which we bring our vulnerability to learn together. That transformation, I think, only happens as we mind the depths of our own souls and get really personal with one another, sharing our stories, sharing our lives, um, getting deep with one another. In every one of these conversations, we had faith leaders uh, eager to explore what we all had in common. Love of neighbor, love of enemy, uh, love of the disenfranchised and a special call to care for those at risk in our wider communities. We've uh, learned that there is a core that unites us even as we differ on many different issues. We all have the same common denominator. That common denominator is the Creator. So there were four key agreements that we all decided on. One, let's discover what we have in common. Second, let's share that story far and wide together. Let's share it inside our own faith traditions, inside our own networks, and let's share it with the people of Oregon. But three, let's not back away from our differences, from a place of shared value, from a place of recognizing those fundamentals that we have in common. Let's demonstrate how to disagree with each other. And fourth, Let's find those areas where we can lead past the divisions. Let's attempt to really demonstrate as people of faith where we might be able to advocate that we haven't thought of before. It is up to us to represent our traditions. It is up to us to dig down deep past the spirit of the times, down into the spirit of the depth. I just believe that we are going to have to go deep with one another get really personal in sharing our stories in order to really achieve the transformation that this world needs. I don't see it happening any other way. There might be far more than unites us than divides us. And our core hope is, is that you'll build your own common table, is that these tables will keep getting built 
not just with other faith leaders, but in other kitchens and other churches and synagogues and mosques and temples, that we would allow a little space for grace and faith and possibility. And that's what the common table is. An essential part of the common table is that the work is never done, that there are always more chairs left empty. How do we extend that friendship? How do we leave that open? Because the table is still being built.